A Rapid City woman retired a couple years ago after teaching art at the School of Mines for 19 years. Now she has plans to combine two things she loves to create something unlike anything you've likely ever seen right in her own backyard. And when it's ready, you just may want to check it out as we go along the way here in Rapid City. Debra Mitchell is a walking, talking personification of creativity. The melding of garden and art is basically my life's work. And in her backyard, Mitchell plans to create what she's calling the Garden Gallery, an open-air art viewing experience for artists and art lovers alike. And she plans to display other artists' work here as well. So like this piece in particular is kind of a melding of my love of motorcycles and some of the, the work that I did in, um, based upon my impression of turkey. So the colored background, my monotypes. It's early in the season, but already she has flowers in bloom. She says gardening, especially now during the pandemic, has brought her peace. My way to connect with the earth um, and especially with social distancing, it's just been a godsend to be able to come out in my garden and work hard. She likes to travel, and those travels are reflected in her work. For example, when she bought some pictures at a street fair in Lucca, Italy. I found a basket of these amazing photographs that were portraits that somebody had taken. This was like, had to be really close to World War II. She says she scooped up as many as she could without even knowing what she would do with them. They're now part of what she calls her Lost Soul series. Bring those lost souls back and give them a, a voice, a presence that people could appreciate as beautiful. And just as those photos are classic, nostalgic, and idyllic, so is another style of her art involving the use of an old school etching press. And what you do is you have a copper plate and you ink it up, you just put all kinds of ink over the top and then you slowly wipe it away so it just stays within the, the engraved or you know etched parts. She says this old press applies a thousand pounds per square inch. So when you run it through with high pressure in this soft blanket, it pushes the paper down into those things and you peel it back up and what you have is an etching. And this is an etching that I did of Grace Coolidge Creek. Not a photo, not a painting, rather an etched reflection, so detailed you can almost hear the water flow as it swishes down the creek. And while she loves to travel, it's not only overseas. She says she's been riding motorcycles since she moved to the Black Hills. She uses sketchbooks and watercolors to document her two-wheeled trips. Bryce Canyon. This one was great. I got there and the sun was going down. I went, I could do that fast. And I did that like in 15 minutes. So many images, so many memories captured with a brush. People ask me all the time if I want to sell them. It's like, this is my diary, yes. you know. And in this quiet, peaceful place, enclosed by a white wooden fence, it's easy to see how it will soon be the garden gallery. She expects the gallery to be ready within about a month. You can find more info by clicking on this story on our website. If you've met someone cool along the way, please call or email us to let us know. And she says, once that garden gallery is up and ready to go, she will require folks to follow proper uh, pandemic prevention protocol, like a mask, Good. social distance, that kind of stuff. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it looked so peaceful there. It's such a fun way to combine, you know, art with gardening. And I, I think I mentioned to you earlier when you kind of gave me like a little bit of an mm -hmm. idea of what the story was about. Um, it reminds me so much of my hometown, the historic district, just like combining art with gardening. Like, you, I mean, it's, it's incredible. So what, what struck you most when you were there? her creativity yeah i mean we showed a few styles of her work in that story we showed the one where she got those pictures uh at a street fair in right. italy so and cool. then created this lost soul series and uh we showed the etching which is just absolutely amazing with that old school etching machine she's got three mm -hmm. etchers she makes her own bird baths so she's got some of those around nice. and i mean you really can't categorize her art because she does so many different 
styles yeah, of art. which is incredible. And that's what really struck me most. I mean, whether she's on, on two wheels on her motorcycle, mm -hmm. which I also thought was fascinating, yeah. or traveling overseas to Turkey or Italy or wherever she may be, mm -hmm. uh, it all somehow turns into art, and now it's turning into a new way to view art. Absolutely. I think I want to take a walk through that, honestly. I'll wear a mask. I'll do whatever <laughs> I need to because that's awesome. I probably will, too.